For today's video, allow me to make an update about our chicken coop. And we're gonna go to the community of the Ipis. Actually, I'm referring to the Bajau. And we're gonna buy some of their chickens. This community of Bajau are indigenous people. And many have wrong connotations about them because they said that they are the poorest among the poor. But to tell you honestly, this community is rich in culture and they even have this beautiful chicken breed that I am so proud to tell you about. Well, this chicken coop has the height of 15 feet. And then it has a width of 10 feet and we have the length of 12 feet. So this is quite big. And I intended this for the housing where these chickens can lay their eggs and, you know, hatch their eggs. You look at my back. This is the outcome of our effort in making an elevated chicken coop. And it, this is made of bamboo. We did not spend so much money about this because we only use the recycled materials. The recycled wood and even this GI sheets and this bamboo are just the materials that we used from the old farm. And you will see that it's fabulous, isn't it? I would like to employ the natural thing, meaning that I will just allow them to sit on their eggs without, you know, using first this incubator. But for the ducks, I have decided to use the incubator because they will incubate in a longer period of time. And I don't want my ducks to sit on their eggs at a very long span of time. So for the chickens, well, we will allow them because they will just sit on it in a period of 21 days and I'm so excited now to add more chicken breed this is the best breed so far that I can integrate to this farm and we will go now because they are waiting for our arrival I already have contacted this friend of mine and he's willing to share with us the Siam breed of chickens that he bought from Malaysia and Thailand. So this is very exciting. So come on, let's go and please be with me guys. So guys, we're here at the house of Panglima Ismang. Actually, this is a respected man here in Barangay Maasin. He is a you know, member of the Barangay Justice System. And you know, if the conflict arose from between um, IPs, and this man is one of the persons who can settle amicably the disputes. And one of his sideline is to take care of these quality chickens. And we are here in order to buy some of his uh, chicken breeds. And if you can see right here, they have these big breeds of chicken that we're gonna integrate in our chicken farm. And I'm so happy because he allowed us to have a film and he shared also his experiences with us about this chicken. Panglima, salamat na pinatuloy mo kami sa bahay mo. At nakikita ko ang daming manok. Bakit ka nagalaga ng manok? Eh, pati yan lang ka parang sideline mo yun. Sideline? Oo. Oo, kung mayroon naman umiin ng tulong eh. Pag-usapan lang kung ano yun. Oo. Uh, Pag-usapan, hindi naman yan sinasabi na. So guys, he just said that the, you know, taking care of these uh, chickens is inherited by him from his parents, from his grandfather. Because it's their culture to really, you know, take care of this chicken. 
as part of the the culture so you can see here that uh, these chickens are quality chickens and but hindi ito nakakasakit meron naman sakit oh meron naman mayroon may, nung yung anong bomba yung kasakit meron naman meron naman oh. pero kasi inaalagaan talaga inaalagaan oh, talaga pinapakain pinakain na mabuti oh okay and I am so proud and happy that he's willing to sell us some of his breeders and I'm so happy with that and we can infuse or integrate this line of chickens to our chickens there at the farm. You guys can see that these chickens are raised just beside the, the shoreline. You see over there? And these stilt houses are actually giving shades to the chickens. And they said that if you're gonna raise chickens along the shoreline, it's uh, far from getting, you know, virus. They will not get sick because the environment is always fresh. And you look at here, there are plenty of chickens. And this community is actually a peace-loving community. Some of the Bajaos are actually settled in this area and i feel so welcome here in this community with all this uh, you know fabulous chickens <laughs> Okay now, winner now, winner, winner, winner! Okay now. Wow! <laughs> Finally, we are here and I enjoy a lot, you know, mingling with these people. You see the kids and they're very rich in culture and they're just raising this chicken along the, the shoreline. And look at what we've got here. Come on, let's go. Ta-da! <laughs> see that? Wow, these are the best breed that we've got and they are act there are actually eight of them that are here you see you see that oh very fat and heavy and i will let my staff carry this one and of course we will put this immediately inside the newly built chicken coop come on let's go Ta -da! Wow, this is the very nice place for you guys. I'm so excited to release you here. Wow, this is amazing. Really amazing. See, we have this now. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight additional chicken. They're the native chickens that we can produce as parent stocks with this additional eight hen i'm sure that we can quickly multiply them because they're very quick to lay their eggs especially if they're given enough attention and i have a vast of experience already about growing these chickens and i can say that with the new location that we have now and with this kind of chicken coop i think we can safely assume that it's going to become a very successful chicken farm and I'm so happy to share with you my experiences and of course the ups and downs of this have been known to you but I promise to bounce back and we are now an inch to our goal so thank you guys for watching and I hope you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to this channel may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading informative and challenging videos very encouraging 
and very educational. See you in my next video, only here at Dexter's World. Music